Well, let's take a quick peek through everything that we're leaving behind here. Doesn't look like there's there's too, too much that we need to drop everything for change gears here. So with that in mind, what do we wish to do? Do we just head back for back to spider once more here? Hmm. Rachne is still a pain to deal with, but maybe we just start out with our poison staff, have that resistance right off the bat, and see how that encounters go, or how that encounter goes, rather. Let's go back from the frying pan into the fire here, shall we? It's okay. This one, this is our relatively safe stairwell. We like this stairwell. Clickavora, or Clickavora, just you is fine, and in fact, if we could get a couple of you bad boys, this still seems ideal. That's Arachne around the corner. Oh, but it's not. Oh, almost feel sorry for you, Orb Spider, though not, not actually at all, if we're being honest. <laughs> Highly deserved, at the end of the day. There we go, we can launch. Couple of orbs of destruction at you, my friend. Wouldn't be surprised if that is Arachne coming to uh, investigate the blast. And once again, if we just take our new friends on a wee bit of a jaunt, slight journey here. Well, apparently, it's not Arachne hanging out. Where the heck did you go, my friend? Sun Moth, you get blasted, my friend. And last but not least, bit of radiation to finish the job. Beautiful. I guess those are down to, yeah, 8% and 14% failure. So that's not too shabby at all. And let's start blasting with flame waves. If our friends could... I was hoping they'd body block a little bit longer. But hey, all is well that ends well here. And jumping friend, if you could just chill. Pick a side, pick a lane. Okay. Well, I guess this is our life now. Let's just send a few orbs of destruction towards Arachne, and that's pretty dang close to a sealed case. In fact, let's just throw some more lightning your way. There we go. Beautiful. Um, Sun Moths, as always, slightly more terrifying. But we can at least get some poison racked up on you. Ouch. Like I said, terrified. <laughs> but we could dip into our pockets here. Let's bring out some magic and a couple more irradiates to finish the job here real quick. Irradiate, again, just does absolute wonders for us here in Spider. Beautiful. And now, maybe we'll be okay? I'm really curious, I don't know what the little red arrow icon that's appearing on enemies is. I guess maybe it's an effect from like, oh, it's a weakening effect from our stinger, if I had to guess, actually, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense indeed. Okay, reset all my, my feet here, and let's get right back to it, shall we? Hopefully now we've put ourselves in a better situation here to finish clearing off the rest of the zone. Another scroll blinking, definitely don't mind that whatsoever. And once you both are by me, we can get some good old contamination action going. And not too shabby whatsoever. Beautiful. And hopefully that was our, our biggest roadblock. I don't think it will be. I think things will continue to be brightening as we continue our way through Spider. But a man can dream, right? At least think of a, uh, a better world. And we'll see how it goes with that being considered. Keep murdering things with flame wave flame wave definitely being the mvp so far of the zone and no need to stand there and take an orb destruction directly to the face 
we'll play it safe, head upstairs, and just find another way down. So you get these slight hiccups starting. <laughs> Always has to come up at the most inopportune moment, though hopefully just the mention of them scares them away. Hiccups are always a, uh, a strange beast like that, to say the least. But okie dokes. So far, again, much more manageable. Not having the 200 health unique, probably, you know, a big part of that goes a long way, really. And perfect. And anyway, we just started blasting. What the heck? Blackavoras? Strongest spider enemy? Change my mind? Well, that's a bit of a shock to the system for sure. <laughs> You're dealing with so many trials, having that be the uh, the worst thing in our journeys, definitely unexpected to say the least. I just launch an orb, an orb for an orb, <laughs> and I think we're okay. There we go, as we blow up the orb spider, fantastic. And back on the road again here. And I should be slightly careful, I'm gonna head back towards the stairwell here so that we can retreat once things do inevitably start to uh, terrify me the greatest degree here. Getting real dang close. There we go. We'll head upstairs to quickly heal up before continuing through the rest of Speedray here. Holy moly. Never a dull moment at the very least. Yes, yes, we can say that for certain. Absolutely terrifying. As we just keep flame wave after flame wave. This is my life now. This is all I do. Man, does it ever work wonders. Beautiful. And perfect. At least with fire magic, we're not quite at ridiculous Shield of Gong levels like we saw in our recent run, but still making a lot of noise as we make our way through each of the zones here, so it does allow us to kind of have those or that one terrifying encounter and then everything else kind of smooths up from there. 43 damage on you? Who knew? What else have I got? I guess Irradiate is probably my best bet. Indeed it is, fantastic. And we'll probably take this Tin of Tremor Stones at the moment. Secondary Ring of Protection probably falling by the wayside by this stage in the game. Let's hope that that hits. It does hit, but unfortunately doesn't quite do the trick, so one more fireball will uh, seal the deal, as it were. Bit of poison coming my way here, which is not ideal. There we go, that's what I was waiting for, just enough magic for one more fireball. Oh, there we go. We reflect the orb destruction there at the last second. Fantastic. In fact, you, my friend, if you could get out of the narrow corridor, that would help. Okay, never mind. We'll just have to blast you with a radiate. What the heck is going on, spider? <laughs> okay, uh, don't like that. If we can get enough orbs of destruction on them, not the end of the day, not the end of the world, rather. And in fact, holy crap. I don't know why, but my brain hates McGlottle. I get terrified every single time. I feel like we have had some rough encounters for sure. Anything that can mite themselves is a bad time in, in many ways. But that, that went surprisingly well, at least, that encounter. I'm not going to let it shade future endeavors with our friend there because I feel like that's the, the quickest and easiest way to find yourself in a uh, an early grave or even a mid-game grave, which is arguably much worse. Invest all your time just to, to watch it all slip away in a crumbling fashion. But there we go, Sif Muna's Encyclopedia of Ignition. I have a sneaking suspicion. This will contain the spell that I've been looking for this whole time. Wow, would you look at that? Ignition. 
what a treat. We have a lot of conjurations training, so if we just train fire, we'll probably get Firestorm up as well. It's been a long time since I had a Firestorm run, so that could be fun. could be a good time. Regardless, I think I will buy you, my friend. And let's see, how far are we from ignition just off the rip here? It's still 100%. It does make sense if we take a peek here. On the other hand, how's like Spellforge Servitor coming along? It's starting to come down, which means if we begin training some summoning, that'll probably fall pretty dang quickly. So that's awesome. That Conjuration's getting pretty close to the cap we set for it. And getting pretty dang expensive to level up, too. Hmm. Something to think about. I guess even now, Orb Destruction at 4%. Let's, uh, let's swap off, shall we? Conjuration's temporarily coming off here. We'll bring it back at some point to make it a nice round number. Let's bring everything in. Hey, Catra, is this a 15 rune run you spot? Hopefully. That's the plan, at least. <laughs> That's the long-term goal here. We'll see how it goes. Let's turn summoning on and bring it up to, like, 10 or 12. We'll see where that leaves us as we get a little bit closer to that number. Ooh, hold up. Plus two pair of boots. Don't mind if I do. Grab those sons of guns here real quick. Beautiful. Keep it going. Hopefully you showing up less is the run. That's that's the the plan here. I would wish for the same. I'm sure it will. Regardless, it makes the run a bit more fun. So I appreciate you showing up always. But okie dokie, let's blast this son of a gun with a couple of radiates. We've probably made a bit of a ruckus down this stairwell, but that's potentially ideal if we can get a nice crowd around us. Don't like an enraged speeder, but there we go, much better. An entropy weaver can try a couple of slaps at. I don't think we're going back down that stairwell though. That seems like a bit of a uh, foolish decision to say the least. So we'll head right down this way and see how things are looking a bit closer to the source here quickly run up, replenish all of our magic before coming once more into the breach and blasting the ever-living crap out of all of our new friends. Beautiful. Okay, Ghost Moth on your own. Now that's what I'm talking about. Don't have to worry about a bunch of enraged wolf spiders, which is just truly one of the greatest nightmares one can experience in this game. And Radroach. Also terrifying. Let's see. Hopefully... Oof. That's a bad, bad failure there, getting a bunch of contamination, unfortunately. Um, hmm. What do we wish to do with you? You're at least not fast. You're not slow, either. I guess if we step away, you can only attack of opportunity us. And you cannot contaminate me? or irradiate me rather, so that actually seems like a big bonus in my mind. We can just play out the rest of our contamination. <laughs> Let's give me a second here, my Red Roach friend. Okay, there we go. That's a bit of a nastier hit, but we are back online here. Oh, and your blast also contaminates me. Ah, right. <laughs> Well, 3d20 is not ideal here, so what I think I'll do is get some butterflies in the mix. Take some, some ground here, and just blast it from afar. Fantastic, there we go. Always slightly scary against those sons of guns, at least since I've tried to fully internalize and learn my lesson from terrible deaths to them in the past. Definitely nice to uh, to be slightly more cautious and make sure we're not doing anything too, too stupid along the journey here. But fantastic. Really, might as well do a bit of orb destruction. Immediately does pretty much nothing, but that is fine by me. Let's get rid of you and orb to orb. I think I have a slightly better 
chance than you, my friend, especially with her reflection brand helping out in the long run there. Beautiful. And okie dokie. Once more into the breach we go here. We've hopefully taken care of a lot of the enemies that we'll be running into over the course of this Spider 4. At least that's the dream. How likely that is to be true? Maybe not quite as high as we would like, but it's still a nice thought, you know? Helps me get to sleep at night. We can start blasting all of our new spider pals here. Um, doo -doo -doo. Slightly concerned about that barbs, or those barbs rather, as another steel barbs comes in. Oh, I thought for sure you'd tank that uh, orb destruction to the face, my friend. Definitely will bring you upstairs, though. How much damage do you do? 29. Not the end of the world, especially if I can link up some radiates here as we continue through the fight. Beautiful. That is much better. Ouch. Don't do that. Stop that. Okay, one irradiate. That'll do the trick. Beautiful. And again, it's a slow process, making sure we're going through Spider with all due diligence, but it should be worth it in the long run here. Unfortunately, I'm not feeling too, too prepared for, like, vaults or depths, largely because of our lack of resistances of any kind. <laughs> but hey, I guess it is what it is, and we'll burn that bridge when we get there. I can always figure it out in the long term. Uh, another rad roach. Oh, and I'm confused. Well, that's less than ideal. Let's change that up right away here. Start taking some steps back. There's much I can do to deal with the rad roach through our other friends here. Eh, not really. Not so much, especially if we want to run away, we'll be heading through this web, which is probably not a, a great deal. Um, they don't. I guess we could keep fighting for the next little bit here. We can kind of take on the Tarantulas themselves, maybe throw some flame waves in just to get some crowd control as the rest of these sons of guns start uh, filtering in. As soon as the Rad Roach steps up to me, I don't really know what the game plan is. But such is life sometimes, I guess. And here we go, okay. Yeah, there we go, you son of a gun. Ideally, you don't contaminate me further, and you don't. Fantastic. Well, that worked out surprisingly well. <laughs> Why don't we do that every time? In fact, there we go again. As long as we have those kind of three early irradiates right away into the encounter, it doesn't give them time to counter with the, uh, the same treatment, so that's wonderful. Tarantulas definitely need to be taken care of as quickly as possible, but there we go as we reach level 18 as well. Holy moly. Things are, are coming along for sure, and we can definitely scorch you, my simulacrum friend. Beautiful, and I guess we haven't... I was about to say we haven't gone into the uh, final section, but speak of the devil. It looks to be an undead theme to the final vault here, which is very interesting. I feel like we have gotten this, must have gotten this spider before, if I had to guess. Regardless, I have a sneaking suspicion that we might just be okay. We don't have a lot of our end, but fire does wonderful work against this brand of, of foe, so I feel pretty happy with that as our, our main source of damage here. I say right as, of course, the steel barb shows up to, to teach me a bit of a lesson in that regard. <laughs> Fortunately, we're not doing quite so well against them, but let's check in with Spellforge Servitor. Summons just below 6 here. Spellforge Servitor already down to 67% castable, so that's getting close real fast. 
Definitely need to blast a spark wasp out of existence as quickly as we possibly can. Fortunately, not great in terms of resistances there. Staff of Air kind of helps though. Just to be safe, I think we will gladly take that. Hopefully, well, I was about to say hopefully that orb destruction slips past and hits the ghost moth. No such luck. Oof. This is getting kind of gross kind of fast here. I mean, one option is that we can just like quaff magic or potion petition and hope for a magic. And then we'll have just enough magic points to do some irradiation. Not enough irradiation, unfortunately. Whoopsie daisies. 26%, 46%, 50%. Moth of Wrath is not that useful for me, even on my team, I feel. Right, you don't actually... Oh, you deal a bit of damage, 25 damage. So that's... That's nice, I guess. That's okay. To be more fair. Hmm. So what do we wish to do? Good Tremor Stones. Everything's pretty crap for armor class here. It's gonna make a lot of noise. Let's try it out though. And once more with feeling. And then we should be able to take down the Ghost Moth with our bare hands. Beautiful. Get me the heck out of dodge just so we can quickly recover before heading once more into the heat of battle here. Oof. Dang, boulder beetles will uh, surprise you. Probably that much for free. Jeez Louise, my friend. Stop that. There we go. That is looking much better. And let's do this. Spectral jumping spider. Hello, my friend. At least we should be generally okay with dealing with all of you buddies. Oh. Hello there, my Emperor Scorpion pal. Bit of a radiate. Nope, okay, that doesn't go great. Maybe some fireballs to seal the deal. Much better. And that should be just about perfect. Feel a bit more experienced as the dang jumping spider goes down just out of sight here. Um Yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna gonna risk the early usage of mana just to murder you my friend and then by the time we get back up to five oof, I was kind of hoping we'd have another radiate that works too especially comboed with a quick ice blast wonderful and okay this jumping spider really wants a promotion they are working way harder than they uh than they should with their current pay rates here in spider respectable really at the end of the day but unfortunately not going to change our feelings on the matter one way or another and we're going to keep just blasting through these sons of guns as as we can as we know best perfect hello my steel barb friend quick orb destruction does the the work for us there and we can take another quick peek spellforge down to 58 percent failure it's it's coming along slowly but surely it will get there one of these days but okie dokie another one of our emperor scorpion friends here slightly less than ideal but that's not the end of the world oof now we're kind of left between a rock and a hard place. There we go. We killed them just fast enough to swap over to our electricity resistance staff here. Again, ideally, this isn't the rest of our life. Just needing to uh, constantly swap between stabs here is our only source of protection. But it is relatively convenient at this stage. There we go. Spark wasp down and we'll swap back to poison to hopefully kill you before too much confusion comes in beautiful get me the heck out of dodge for another quick little heal session and lovely okie dokes actually what i should have done before heading 
back into the breach once more. I do love orb on orb violence. Hopefully I reflect that. Oh, I think I did, but it unfortunately kind of veered off in a bit of a strange direction, but that's fine. It is what it is. But we'll just... I was going to say we'll just keep sending orbs in, and I thought this could be a fun thing between you and I, DCSS, but I get it. I get it. Can't, can't let me be happy, not for once in my gosh darn life. Okie dokie, though. Uh, let's just blast you, my friend. Okay, and with that, this is where I'll be taking just a, a quick break here. I'm going to run out and grab a refill for my glass before we continue on. Should be able to finish up Spider this evening. Maybe just barely start on another area. We'll see how it goes. Regardless, I will be right back and see you in just a second. Don't go anywhere. Son of a gun into my glass, and we'll be good to go here. Oh, thank gosh. I was just realizing as I walked out there, it's all throughout the stream. I've been like, oh, I'm not wearing my, my wedding ring right now. I realized I didn't know where it was, so I was kind of looking through the kitchen as I went out for my drink. I realized it wasn't out there, which normally I kind of put it in a spot right by my wallet and whatnot started to panic a little bit, worried that I took it off to eat something messy at work and left it somewhere in the office building, but fortunately just happened to peek it right now, so I'm gonna put that bad boy on. Oh, a slight, just minor panic attack. All's well, it ends well, and we'll just blast you, my friend. Hey, better, better dealing with the ghost moth lately than I, uh, have in the last few caster runs that we've played, so I'm definitely happy to see that. Okay, and we can definitely finish you off, I feel, my friend. Beautiful. And let's keep on keeping on, shall we? I'm guessing some death scarabs in this final vault, if I remember correctly. <laughs> in fact, is this one that has, like, the doors that we can open? And the pharaoh ant goes from 0 to 100 real quick, eh? Um, only three teleport scrolls, so I definitely feel like I want to hold on to those for as long as we can here. Hmm. Guess I could just potion position preemptively here. Played a bit safe. Heal wounds relatively cheap. Fantastic. And do do do. Was trying to blast you, my friend, but. I see how it is. We'll instead strip away your fire resistance and do it the old-fashioned way. Beautiful. Run back to the stairs to heal up or just heading once again into the breach. So, okay, if I exclude you... There we go. That's better. Um, before we accidentally make an issue of ourselves there, let's also exclude that. Fantastic. Okay, Pharaoh Ant. I've learned my lesson. Come at me. <laughs> Play that as safely as we possibly can. And with that, we are just about ready to uh, to make the breach here. At just under 8 summoning, Spellforge server is down to 54. Oof. I feel like I need more intelligence. I feel like we have relatively low intelligence for a caster, because, I mean, with numbers like these, over 20, coming up to 10. I'm normally feeling pretty good about my spellcasting abilities, but with only 20 intelligence, it's just not quite there. Not quite with it. But okay. You kiddos. Not resistant to fire. Good. <laughs> and so anyway, 
we just start blasting. Flame wave after flame wave should do the trick on its own. We can always swap over to irradiates if things are looking disastrous at any stage here. But so far, that seems pretty, pretty fantastic to me here. Things are looking good, feeling great. Pharaoh Ant, get the heck out of dodge here. Please and thank you. There we go, perfect. And I think that will be that. Ooh, Potion of Resistance I would definitely like to have in my back pocket. You know, Wand of Flame probably has fallen off by this stage in the game. Let's grab that. Dang. That's a really good hat. Oh, would you rather have antenna that give you see invisible? Will be. Or this beautiful hat here. It's not often you get regen on a on a hat. Well, no use dwelling too too much over it. Let's just keep it moving here, shall we? Orb of Guile, not for this character, but I'm still wanting to do a bit of like a hexer character that uses Orb of Guile in fun ways, because it is it's generally a good time. 